Hello HGTV Facebook fans, this is Chelsea and today we are coming to you for a How Tuesday showing you how to make DIY cotton stems. And we're also going to show you two beautiful ways to incorporate these cotton stems into your fall decor. So for this project, it's really simple. What you'll need is cotton balls, preferably the jumbo cotton balls that you find in the drugstore, some pine cones, branches, and a hot glue gun. Now, if you have pine cones and branches in your backyard, even better, but you can also find these at the craft store. All right, let's get started. So I bought my pine cones at the craft store, but as I said before, you can source these from your backyard. If you do that, however, be aware that a lot, a lot of times pine cones are wet and you might have to dry them. And you can find many ways to dry pine cones online. The most popular way is to do it in the oven. Okay, so the first step is you're going to need to descale your pine cone. And to do this, there's a really simple way. You're gonna break the stems, and by doing that, or break the scales, and to do that, you just pull them downwards toward the base, as such. And as you do this, you might have a few fall off, which makes it even easier for you, like I have here. But the reason that we're doing this is because it makes the scales just a little bit easier to pull down. And if you're just joining us, today we are showing you how to make DIY cotton stems. And the reason that we're showing you how to make DIY cotton stems is because they're a huge fall trend right now. You'll see them in centerpieces, Thanksgiving arrangements, all kinds of fall arrangements, fall wreaths. Um, even some of our HGTV talent are incorporating it into their designs. Okay, so I've started to descale my pine cone and as you've noticed some of the scales have fallen off which is great for me but some of them are being a little bit stubborn so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off the very top of the pine cone with some garden shears and then we'll go through with our scissors and loosen up the scales just a little bit more and trim them off I lost one and Cotton stems are great in fall arrangements. They're also great if you're planning on doing a beautiful centerpiece for Thanksgiving. And for some great Thanksgiving tips, recipes, decor ideas, etc., um, just visit hgtv.com backslash Thanksgiving and you'll see lots of different ways to use pine cones, but also lots of different recipes and other great fall decor tips. All right. So I think I've got enough for what I need, but if you're making multiple stems of cotton, you'll need to descale de probably two to three different pine cones. And like I said, the easiest way to descale and get the entire scale is to loosen them up first like this, and then snip them off with a pair of scissors. Easy peasy. Okay, so that was step one. Step two, you're gonna prepare your branch to look like a real cotton stem branch. And the way that you're gonna do this, I just used a regular um, straight branch, but if you want to use curly willow or any other type of dark colored branch, that works great too. Um, another way that you can do this is if you want your cotton stems to be able to move and bend, you can use floral wire wrapped in brown floral tape. But I'm just gonna show you the easy way today. So I want a cotton branch that has two different stems of cotton coming off of it. So I'm gonna break off the unnecessary smaller branches up here at the top. and just leave two branches to use. 
And to give it a little bit of depth, I'm gonna have one branch be a little bit smaller and one that comes up a little bit higher. So I'm gonna break it off right about here. And then I'm also going to break my branch about here because I won't need all this excess length on my branch. Now, like I said before, if you wanna source this, these branches from your backyard, even better, that will save you so much more money. But I just got mine from the floral section at the craft store. All right, from here, you're gonna take your hot glue gun and add a big, generous dollop of glue onto one of the branches. Take your cotton ball, spread it out just a tiny bit, and sit it right on top, and then pinch it around the branch as so. And you'll see, you'll still have a little bit of glue probably squirting out, but that's okay. You're gonna cover that up later. So this does not have to be perfect. This is just the first step, and then we're gonna make it look great later. Okay, so one question people have had in the, in the past is, how do I keep it from looking like it's just a cotton ball? And if you notice, cotton balls are normally spun around um, a, a certain point and before they're packaged, and so they have this spin, this spun circle in the middle of them. So to kind of cover that up, we're gonna pull the cotton over just a little bit, like such kind of like a toupee almost, and then gather it at the bottom like that. Really easy. And we're gonna repeat this step on the other stem as well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull mine out just a little bit. We're gonna add another dollop, and like I said earlier, a very generous dollop, because you want these cotton balls to stay. I'm gonna take my cotton ball, add it right onto the end, and pinch it like so. We're gonna let that dry for just a second. All right guys, if you're just joining us, we are showing you how to make DIY faux cotton stems. And the reason that we're showing you how to do that is because Cotton stems are really popular this fall. Sometimes they're a little bit hard to find because they are so popular. And when you do find them, a lot of times they're really expensive. So we're gonna sh we're showing you how to make your own for a couple of bucks and some stuff that you can find in your backyard. Um, I am using these to decorate my fall table, but we'd also love to know how you're decorating your fall table this Thanksgiving or just for this entire season. Um, if you have some great ideas, will you please put them in the comments below? We'd love to see them. Cone earlier. And the scales have a back, or a back and a front. We're gonna use the front of the scale because it looks a little bit more organic. And these scales are going to serve as the cotton leaves that you normally see on, a, on an authentic cotton branch. So I'm gonna add a tiny bit of glue to the base of the cotton ball and then attach the scale as close to the stem as possible and up into the cotton ball. So it kind of looks like it's just one continuous piece. Now like I said earlier, none of this has to be perfect because a, or an organic real cotton stem it's got its, own, its flaws. And so if, if your cotton branch has a couple of flaws, it makes it look even more authentic. All right, so we're just gonna repeat this process, adding a dollop of glue right next to the other scale, and then adding another scale as close to the stem as you possibly can. Now I found probably the easiest way to do to work is to work upside down like this because then you can see all around the perimeter. All right guys, if you're just joining us again, we're showing you how to make DIY cotton stems. Cotton is a huge fall trend right now and we would love incorporating into our decor. If you have any great trends that you're seeing right now that you'd love for us to cover in the future, please put it in the comments below. We'd love to see it. And we, like other people, are inspired by all the things that we see on the internet and the things that we see our friends do at home. 
So we'd also love to see your pictures as well if you've got some really gorgeous arrangements or gorgeous crafts that you've done with, with cotton stems. We would love to see those, so please put those in the comments below too. We have a couple of comments, people who, um, one person lives near a cotton farm Very cool. and then Tracy says she has a uh, cotton in her backyard that she pulls for her Thanksgiving displays. Awesome. Lucky. Yeah. Um, I've always wondered if cotton is, is difficult to grow. Maybe that'll be something that I'll try in the future, but until then I'm going to craft my cotton stems. Yeah. And that's a really great point. If, um, if cotton stems are something that are really accessible to you, by all means, use them because they are so gorgeous in fall decor, especially in wreaths and centerpieces like we're gonna show you in a few minutes. Um, but if you, like me, are having issues finding cotton stems in your area, this is a great workaround. Um, I found a couple of gorgeous bunches of real cotton stems at an antique fair last year. But since then, I have not been able to find them anywhere except on the internet. And, you know, I don't think about ordering cotton stems until the day before an event. And a lot of times, you know, ordering them from the internet isn't necessarily possible. So this is a great way if you've got an hour or two the day before your event and you just feel like crafting, you know, put on your favorite movie, put on some music, sit in the floor and glue together some faux cotton stems. Lou also mentioned that if you buy these in a store, they can be a little bit pricey. Oh yes, Lou, you're very right. So one of the other small snags that I've, I ran into when making my cotton, or when trying to buy cotton stems is that they're so expensive. And they're you know honestly more expensive than I like to pay for um, fall decor. So by making them, you are spending maybe a tenth of the price that you would on a real bunch at the store. Okay, so we're done. This is what they look like. They're absolutely gorgeous. And like I said earlier, if they don't look absolutely perfect, it's not a big deal because no one's going to be inspecting them up close. But from a distance, they look pretty convincing, wouldn't you say? All right, so from here, I'm gonna show you guys two beautiful ways to incorporate these faux cotton stems into your decor and you'll never even know that, it, that they're faux. You know, your guests will think that it's the real thing. All right, so I'm gonna clean this station up just real quick. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and please continue to share your beautiful fall decor with us. Alice says, lucky to have a cottonwood tree. So she has one in her backyard too. That's awesome. Okay, I gotta admit, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not educated on my, my cotton growing if you guys have any tips on how to grow a cottonwood tree, I would love to hear that. We can learn together today. All right, so here's some stems that I've made today. I'll sit these over here. Get my glue gun out of the way. Okay, here's a fall centerpiece that I put together yesterday and I made everything in the centerpiece I made it from faux or dried materials that I found at the craft store or just that I already had at home um, and I'm going to show you guys how I made this I've taken apart one section and as you can see it's not very pretty but underneath all I've done is just wadded up some unused grocery bags and I lined the entire bottom of the arrangement in these grocery bags. The reason that I did this is just to give it a little bit more depth and to um, raise up my arrangement a little bit more. Otherwise, it would all just be sitting down inside of this beautiful dough bowl that I found at the craft store. Okay, so from there, I took some dried moss and I lined the entire edge of the bowl in the moss to hide this ugly trash bag here. And I just picked some um, some faux or dried ingredients that I thought were really pretty for fall. Um, because Halloween is over, all of the um, pumpkins were half off s steel for me. Um, and I picked some white pumpkins and some orange ones. And honestly, it's so easy to make this arrangement. You just find a handful of materials that you love and um, play with them until you get the look that you like. So I'm gonna put my 
faux orange pumpkin here next to my faux white one. I also cho chose some um, faux succulents because succulents are really easy to fake. So a lot of times when you buy faux flowers, they look fake. And that's not necessarily a look that you want, especially when you're trying to make a beautiful centerpiece that people are going to be sitting close to. Um, but faux succulents are the way to go because they're very leathery in, in natural light anyways. So um, when they're faux like this, they almost look real. Okay, so I'm just gonna add this one over here. And like I said, you just add them until you get the look that you want. Vicki is asking, are the pumpkins real? They are not, but don't they look real? I got these for half off at the craft store. I think I paid a buck a piece for them. Right now is the time to go and buy your fall decor because Halloween's over, so they're selling all that stuff. And plus they're trying to move, probably trying to sell Christmas stuff now because it's getting close to Christmas. So um, I'm gonna show you how to incorporate the beautiful cotton stems. Just as you see here, this is pretty, but when you add a couple of cotton stems, it makes it even prettier and it just gives it like an extra little bit of um. Let's hide some more of that trash bag. I'm gonna add a couple, actually I might move him over here. And I use pine cones, faux succulents, moss, faux pumpkins, and then just um, whatever sort of greenery that I thought was pretty in the floral section of the craft store. Um, and then I'm going to use my faux cotton stems as well. And it just adds a little bit of that fall flair that we love and it's very rustic and very pretty and guys if you're just joining us we just showed everyone how to make some beautiful faux cotton stems with cotton balls branches and pine cone scales and hot glue it's so simple it's so easy to do and we're gonna add this one in here and whenever you add these make sure that these are um, facing with the scales facing out as so so that it looks a little bit more real and it doesn't just look like you put a bunch of cotton balls in your arrangement. All right. Now, I just came up with this decoration on my own, but if you guys have some really awesome and beautiful centerpieces that you're planning on making for Thanksgiving or just to have on your fall table, we would love to see them. Put your pictures or your comments um, in the comment section below. We have a request to see the side view of the centerpiece. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, I will try to tip it, tip it over, but don't laugh if everything falls out. <laughs> it's What I used is a dough bowl. Yeah, Tyler, can you give me a hand, some hands? <laughs> can you see it? All right, and it's a very pretty dough bowl that I just picked up at the craft store. Um, but you can also find these beautiful centerpiece bowls um, at antique fairs or a lot of times I see them at vintage stores. Um, we don't necessarily use them to make dough anymore so they make really great decorative accents. Susanna says, I would leave some of the stems longer and taller for more shape. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I think I'll try that next time. I'm, I'm always a little um, weary because I'm a, I'm a scaredy cat when it comes to design but I, definitely that's definitely something I'll try next time. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to show you is how to incorporate cotton stems into a grapevine wreath. And it's so beautiful and it's so on trend and it's very in for fall right now. Um, I've been seeing these kinds of wreaths all over the internet lately. Um, and so I'm going to show you guys how to make it. It's really easy. And um, the materials that I used was just a regular grapevine wreath that I already had. I picked up this dried silver dollar eucalyptus at the craft store. And then I also dried some baby's breath that I had left over from a wedding that I was in a few months ago. And the way that you do this is you just hang the bunch upside down and let it dry out. And it, it dries this beautiful white color. Um, and then these are the cotton, the real cotton stems that I bought at an antique fair last year. And I don't know if you can tell, but I have interspersed our handmade versions in with my design. So this wreath is so easy to make. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to take my bunch of um, silver dollar eucalyptus. This is dried. 
Um, the dried version is a quarter of the price of the faux version, so I would always recommend going with the dry. Now, I don't know how to dry real silver dollar eucalyptus, but that's probably going to be my next project. All right, and you're just going to cut, you're going to eyeball how long you want your design to be, and I want mine to reach the middle, so I'm going to cut my branch right around here. And guys, if you're just joining us, we're showing you how to make DIY faux cotton stems. And then right now, I'm showing you how to make a gorgeous wreath that incorporates those cotton stems. So I'm going to cut a couple of pieces about this length of the Silver Dollar Eucalyptus that I'm using. And again, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. do is gather all of the stems right here and I'm going to use some floral twine this is 26 gauge um, not twine sorry um, 26 gauge floral wire and I'm going to wrap it around the bottom of my stems and just make a quick knot Oopsie, that one fell out. All right, make a really tight knot so that they stay together like this. And I'm gonna double knot it just for security. And guys, while I'm doing this, um, we would love to hear your ideas of other things that you would like to learn on future How Tuesdays. Um, today we're showing you how to make DIY cotton stems because it's a great fall trend, but there, if there are other fall trends or just other crafts that, craft projects that you would love to learn how to do, um, leave it your comments below and um, we'll check it out. Okay, so I'm going to add this here. This is not going to look pretty, but don't worry, we're going to cover that later. And I'm going to take the floral twine, because I didn't cut it, and I'm going to wrap it around the wreath. And we're going to wrap this a couple of times, just to give it some security. Jenny asks, are cotton stems more of a fall decoration or can it be used throughout the year? Oh, I personally think that they can be used throughout the year. Um, we're just seeing it a lot in fall decor right now. Um, I actually made a wreath a few weeks ago for um, a Christmas shoot that we have coming up because cotton balls um, also look great in um, holiday decor. Okay, if you notice, I am wrapping this a million times just so that it doesn't fall off. Um, but yeah, I think cotton looks great all year long. I have a, um, a huge bunch of cotton that I sat on my bar cart all year long, and um, now you see it in this wreath. Um, but yeah, it looks great all year long, especially when it's um, by itself in a single um, arrangement. Okay, so we're going to cut this off. And then I just wrap it around a stem just to get it out of the way. Tina asks, where do you get in cotton stems if you aren't making your own? Tina, that is a great question. And the reason that I'm making my own is because I can find them anywhere. It's been really, I guess because they're just so popular right now, um, it's really hard to find cotton stems. And um, I found mine at an antique fair. So I went to an antique fair last year and I was only able to get a couple of bunches before they were all gone. Like there was a line out the door down the street. Um, I've also tried to look at the craft store. Um, I haven't been able to find them there. And every time I go to the craft store, they say they're sold out. So um, you can also buy them online if you know that you're gonna wanna use them and you have the time. There's, there are a lot of places online and you can also go to your local florist. Always check the florist too. Um, other than that, around here, I'm not really sure, but I'm sure some places have um, farms that grow them. Okay, so to incorporate these into our wreath, I'm gonna break off the stem just a little bit, and I'm, instead of wiring these in, I'm gonna use the grapevine wreath as leverage for just pushing them in and adding them to the design. So what I've done is I've taken the branch broken it off just a little bit shorter 
and then I'm just simply working it into the grapevine wreath. If you notice, it's really sturdy because grapevine wreaths have a lot of support throughout. Okay, I'm gonna turn it so that you can see the brown because I love seeing that color. Now, if you want some stems that are easier to work with, like I said earlier, instead of gluing them onto a branch, you can glue them onto some floral wire and then tape it with brown floral tape. And that kind of makes it a little bit easier to work with. Okay. Do this here as well. And you just kind of intersperse these throughout, like as you, as you feel like it needs a spot with some cotton. And you just push them into the wreath. And you just continue to do this until you get the look that you love. And um, I'm going to center a lot of mine around the middle because I like the way that it looks when it's really heavy in the center and then a little bit less towards the outside of the arrangement. And this is just such a simple wreath and it looks beautiful for fall. And guys, again, if you have any um, beautiful wreaths that you've put together this fall, we would love to see those as well. Um, you can also see some great fall wreath ideas on um, our HGTV Thanksgiving page, and that's hgtv.com backslash Thanksgiving. And you'll find some beautiful fall wreath ideas as well as recipes for Thanksgiving and crafts so that you can do with the kids, um, centerpiece ideas, and much, much more. I'm going to add some baby's breath in as well, just to give the balanced look. So I'm going to show you guys what my dried baby's breath looks like. So I just took a ponytail holder and hung it upside down like this and dried it and it turned out beautifully. I'm just going to cut a couple of pieces off. And then these don't stay in the wreath as well, so I'm going to give them a little glue just for support. A little hot glue. And then I'm just going to feather these in as I think they look good. And again, guys, if you have any questions, Please put them in the comments below. If you're just joining us, um, we just showed everyone how to make some DIY cotton stems. And now we're showing you how to make a beautiful wreath that incorporates the cotton stems that we made. We've had a couple of requests for future How Tuesdays. Great. Love uh, to hear them. Teresa would love to see a demonstration on Christmas wreaths. Great idea, Teresa. I would like to see that as well. You know, it's interesting because wreaths have just really started gaining popularity um, again just these past 10 years or so, and um, people have gotten really creative with them. I just love seeing all the different ideas and different ways people have come up with making wreaths. Okay. All right, I like the way that, that looks. So what I'm gonna do to hide this nasty part, I'm gonna tie a bow around it, <laughs> um, and that'll just finish off the wreath. I bought this gorgeous ribbon at the craft store, because if you're a crafter like me, the craft store is the best place on earth. Um, if you guys have any great tips on how you're decorating your home this fall, we would love to see that. Um, put your pictures or your comments below. I would love to see that because I need some ideas. I always end up doing the same thing every year. Yeah, 
and the reason that another reason that I absolutely love these cotton balls or these cotton stems um, I really think that they gained a lot of popularity with Fixer Upper if you guys are huge Fixer Upper fans like I am um, Joanna uses a lot of natural looking elements especially like cotton stems and such in her decor and um, it's definitely been a big inspiration of mine all right and that is it guys I'll probably go back and tweak that bow just a little bit later but I think it looks pretty for now and that's it. I'm gonna move all this out of the way so you can see the final product I'm gonna hang this on my door and what's great about this wreath is it'll last all season long everything on here is dried handmade or faux and um, it probably won't have any issue staying in the rain or the sun, um, especially on my front door. We get a lot of sun, so everything dies or shrivels. All right, guys. Well, um, thank you so much for joining today on How Tuesday. I really hope you've enjoyed learning how to make DIY cotton stems, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.